All right, here we go. Welcome back to the fragrance return, everybody. I got a good one for you today. We're talking about 10 fragrances that smell like more expensive fragrances. So I'm gonna save you some money and you're gonna smell great. You don't always have to spend a lot of money to smell great. And let's manage our expectations here for a second. You're gonna pay one tenth of the price at some of these more expensive fragrances cost. So don't expect the same quality and performance but I would say none of these fragrances are a waste of money. They're all worth at least checking out. I wouldn't bring some crap to you here just to, just to make a video for nothing. I'm trying to be as informative and useful as possible with these videos and maybe even a little bit entertaining. We're almost at 200 subscribers or members, like I like to say, at the Fragrance Fraternity. So hit that subscribe button, join this movement that we're creating. Together we can be the best smelling fraternity in the world, which we may already be because most fraternities just smell like booze and dirty clothes, right? So let's get this started with number 10. This is called Nautica Blue Ambition. So I got this 50 ml right here for $10. And I would like to challenge anybody watching right now to find a fragrance that is better smelling for $10 than this one. This may be the best $10 fragrance on the planet. This is a clone of Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette, and it gets very close, I would say. You get the lavender, you get the ambroxan smell, you get the black pepper. It really does a great job of emulating Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Now, it doesn't project and last and pump out like Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette does. Not many fragrances do. But if you're looking for Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette on a budget, or maybe you just want to sample and get kind of a vibe of what Sauvage is like if you haven't already experienced it, Check out Nautica Blue Ambition. I found this one at uh, Burlington's. And I'll just show you the box real quick because it can be kind of hard to tell what this is just looking at the bottle because it looks very similar to a lot of the other Nautica bottles. So this is the box for that one. Blue Ambition, it's got these highlighted lines here. So that's how you're gonna know about that one. Let's keep it moving. Now with a new release from Hollister, this is Canyon Escape. And this is gonna be a clone of Creed Aventus. Now, there are a lot of other Creed Aventus clones out there, but this one does a great job. I think this one smells closest to Explorer. If I had to put it up against one, it would be closest to Mont Blanc Explorer. But Explorer is obviously a Creed Aventus inspired by fragrance at least, so that means that this one is going to be as well. I like this cap right here. It's like, it kind of feels like real wood, even though I don't think it is. It's not very heavy, but I like things that resemble real wood, even if they're not. Uh, Kind of a unique bottle design here it's got ridges which matches the canyon escape name which i really like how that matches up and you know what can i say it smells like aventus it's got that ambroxan fresh uplifting refreshing kind of smell uh it's got the black current vibe it's got a little bit of that pineapple vibe in the opening uplifting great fresh ambroxan scent similar to aventus that's hollister canyon escape this is 100 mil i paid 20 dollars for it and for that price, if you don't have an Aventus clone or maybe you don't wanna use your Aventus bottle, that's a great pickup, especially if you don't own something like Explorer already. The next one in this list is gonna be guest 1981, Los Angeles. So this is gonna smell similar to Versace Eros. This is a great night out fragrance. For the younger guys, if you can't really afford Eros yet and you want something that's a little bit less money and a great alternative, check out 1981 Los Angeles. You're gonna get very close. This is a little darker than Eros. It is a little bit, I would say more woody and a little bit, it goes in a little bit of a more like darker woodiness type of a direction, but it's very close. And you're gonna get good performance, nice sweet tonka bean here. And yeah, this is probably my favorite fragrance from the House of Guests, really impressed here. This is a good starting point to, if you wanna maybe see what Eros is like, if you wanna try out any of these fragrances just to get to know what their more expensive counterpart is like. This is a great way to do it. Just buy one of these cheap ones, wear it a little bit and see if you want to get the more expensive version of it. That's what I like to do. So I guess 1981 Los Angeles smells like Eros. Great for going out at night. Uh, very sweet evening type of a scent, but you can also use it during the day. But I would just say dial back the sprays because this is one that might choke some people out and might come across a little bit cloying, especially to people who don't like sweet fragrances. So beware, but excellent scent for the money. Very close to Eros. Smells kind of like a vanilla root beer float to me personally. That's what I think of when I smell Eros, a vanilla root beer float. Next one, 
We have from the house of Latafa. This is Latafa Mahir Legacy. This is a clone apart from Zdemarli Sedley. And I can't believe how close they got to Sedley with this. Really impressed with this fragrance. Um, I think this was like $30 and it's a big four ounce bottle. So you get a lot of liquid here for the money. Now this bottle may or may not be for you. I don't really mind. I think it's kind of cool. Some people are going to think it's tacky with the horse head, but I grew up playing chess, so it kind of gives me nostalgia of a chessboard for some reason. This would be like your night. Um, so let's check out the atomizer. It's good, good atomizer. Yeah, very, very rich, fresh. So if you want a fresh fragrance with a little bit more depth, a little bit more richness, check out this one. It gets very close to settling. It lasts a long time. It's a good performer, great projection. It's got a nice lime note in the beginning that adds a little bit of zest, especially in the opening. If you like lime type fragrances, if you like fresh aquatic, but powerful fragrances, you should check out my Here Legacy. It's definitely worth checking out. And you're gonna pay, I think, one tenth of the price of Parfums of Marley Sedley. So incredible value for your money with Legacy. Next one we have is Banana Republic. I just dropped the bottle. But we're gonna keep going, don't worry. We're gonna keep going. I only do it in one take, just like Jeremy Fragrance style, one take. Banana Republic Grassland. This is very close to Creed's Green Irish Tweed. So you're gonna get a little bit of differences between this and Green Irish Tweed. Green Irish Tweed has more depth, has more richness, has more nuances, has just more character than this does, but you're gonna pay one-tenth of the price. And this fragrance is great for indoor situations, situations where you may not be going outside and the wind will kind of blow your fragrance away to where it's gonna affect the performance because the performance on this one is sadly not excellent. It's it's okay. It's I would say slightly below average. But if you like green, grassy, minty type fragrances, or you want to get a little bit of a taste of green Irish tweed, Grassland is a great starting spot. Also check out Davidoff Cool Water. That's going to be also in that same style as green Irish tweed. But for today's video, I went with Grassland. I like this bottle. I like the color of it. It's pretty unique. Not a lot of bottles with this coloration. So it might stand out and uh, catch some people's eyes if they just happen to be glancing at your collection. Minty, green, fresh, beautiful, similar to Green Irish Tweed. Next one we have, let me just adjust the camera here a little bit because I knocked it, dropping that bottle. All right, next one, we have Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct together. So take YSL Y80P, take Invictus Aqua, and take First Instinct and kind of mesh them all together and this is what you get. Very sweet aqu aquatic fragrance that has great staying power and is very long lasting and 100 milliliters cost me $20 from Ross. So this is my second bottle of this already. Something about this is just, it draws you in and it just makes you want to use it again and again. It's very, it's very captivating. I would say don't use this at the gym. This is not a fresh fragrance that you want to use at the gym because it is a little bit too sweet for that. But the sweetness is great because it makes it so versatile. I think even in the winter, in the cold winter, that sweetness is going to cut through and you could use this. You're getting a really great fragrance for only $20 and it's something that is going to be a head turner, a big compliment getter, and is going to be great for somebody that likes fresh aquatic sweet fragrances like myself. Check out First Instinct together. The next one in this list, we have four left is going to be from the house of Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc Individual. This is one I've been rocking for a long time since I was a kid. And it's very similar to original Santal from Creed. And surprisingly, Individual came first. So there's that for you. This smells like a synthetic fabric softener with a very strong raspberry note. I love it. I think it's great. Some people are not going to like how synthetic this one is, and I understand that. It is abrasive, it is strong, it is in your face, and I love it for that reason, but you may not. If you prefer fragrances that are more reserved, that are more of a personal scent, 
that aren't really grabbing people by the hair nose and pulling them your direction, then this one might not be for you. But I kind of like stuff that's a little bit more abrasive and a little bit more aggressive. So if you like strong fragrances like that, Mont Blanc Individual may be something you want to try. If you ever smelled Yop Om, this is similar, but I think this is better. And also Original Santal from Creed is going to have some similarities to this, but this is one tenth of the price. So, and it's an excellent fragrance. This is my go-to for suit and tie formal situations. I don't know why, but anytime I'm in a suit and tie, black tie event, something like that, Individual is just the one that pops into my head. It's a great option. All right, next one is going to be from also the house of Latafa, and this one is a freaking bomb. Just be careful with this one, guys. Especially you younger guys, do not overspray this one at school. You may be sent home to change. Latafa Assad. This is a clone of Sauvage Elixir, and Sauvage Elixir is a very expensive designer fragrance, and this only costs twenty five dollars from Amazon. So crazy good deal. This one is taking some of the 80s style incense, the 80s style of fragrance and kind of meshing it with today's Ambroxan heavy Sauvage DNA and it melds them just beautifully together. This is going to come across very masculine. It's got some spices to it. It's got some uh, maturity from the old school kind of style that it melds in together with the Sauvage DNA. Really beautiful, really nice vanilla note in here very appealing and personally i'm not always a huge fan of fragrance with with vanilla notes in here but this is one that i really like this is great for the evening great if you're going to be outside and you need something with fantastic performance this is going to do it for you very similar to sauvage elixir for much less money i like this presentation from the house of latafa a beautiful fragrance you're getting great bang for your buck with a sod two more now this is one that I would consider one of my signature scents. It's kind of difficult to have a signature scent when you have a lot of fragrances, but if I had to pick a signature scent, this would be one of them. Mont Blanc Legend Eau de Parfum. My gosh, this smells so damn good. It's got a beautiful oak moss note in it, and it's similar to Parfums de Marley Percival. I was a little bit upset at how close this was to Percival because I was like, wow, I spent how much on Percival only to buy this for like $40 and this is 80% of the way there, like, okay. But Percival still holds a special place in my heart and it does perform better than this one. So that's how I justify it. But I love Legend Eau de Parfum and it's my favorite right now in the Legend line. Second place I'd give to Legend Knight, and I heard Legend Intense is really good too, but that one's impossible to find, so let's not talk about that one. But Legend Eau de Parfum takes that Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce DNA and just enriches it, makes it deeper, makes it sweeter, just improves on it, and adds some more character to it. So this is a great, great fragrance that pretty much anybody any age can wear. If you're getting into fragrances and you haven't smelled like a fierce or an oak moss forward DNA, I would strongly recommend that you check out something with a strong oak moss note because it may just end up being one of your favorite profiles like it is for me. Legend Eau de Parfum, beautiful, versatile fragrance, very great for like a date night or a night out or even just chilling at home. It's really great for everything. It's a little bit fresh, but a little bit sweet and it's got that strong fierce dna melded in there beautiful fragrance oak moss it's going to turn some heads it's a big compliment puller you know the whole shebang whole nine yards compliment getter okay last one for this list is going to be probably the freshest one of the bunch this is going to be a summer banger jimmy choo man ice and this is similar to dior ohm cologne Jimmy Choo Man Ice smells like pink lemonade and is very refreshing. If it's super hot and you need something that's going to cool you down in the form of a fragrance, this is going to be it. This is very affordable these days. You can pick it up for, I think this size is the uh, 1.7. I think I got this for like $35 from Ross. So 
good, good price here, and it smells like Dior Homme Cologne, which is a very expensive designer fragrance. Um, performance on this one is a little bit below average, but this one is just so fresh that I don't even expect it to have crazy performance. It's definitely more airy and kind of ozonic than something like the Mahir Legacy, which is going to be a lot thicker of a fresh fragrance. This is as light and airy as you can get. So if you like pink lemonade, if you want something that kind of smells like pink lemonade on a hot summer day, Jimmy Choo Man Ice is going to hook you up. It's got a really nice pressurized atomizer too. Every time I talk about this one, I need to mention the atomizer because it's it's one of the best atomizers that I have in my collection. And that includes the more expensive designer and some niche stuff too. Really impressive atomizer. Uh, Jimmy Choo really, you can tell I have a couple of their fragrances and they really care about the quality of their fragrances. You know, they really have some that are complete misses but when they hit, they really hit, and they really hit it out of the park. If you're going to check out one Jimmy Choo, I would suggest Jimmy Choo Man Ice. It's one of my favorite summer fragrances of all time. That's it for today. Let's keep smelling great. Let's keep being the best possible versions of ourselves. Guys, I know sometimes out there, human beings, you know, it can just get to you. It can just bother you because people have a lot of flaws, and we have flaws as human beings, but... Something I heard in the movie Starsky and Hutch. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. So let's end it on a positive note. That's it for today. I'll see you on the next one. I got a couple of awesome reviews coming up. Got some new fragrances to talk about. Peace out, everybody. Keep smelling great out there.